when I tell y'all I keep it moving, I keep it moving. I don't let your feelings affect me. I don't let your opinion affect me. I know the money that I make. I know the credit score I got. I know the taxes that I pay. I know the trust fund that I bought. I know the real estate I just purchased. I know this business in and out, but I, my job ain't to explain it to you. My job is to get you to see how easy it is. My job is to get you to see how excited I am. My job is to get you to see that you need to be excited too. And if you don't give me an ounce of excitement, I'm gone. I just don't get emotionally involved. Write this down. Do not become addicted to outcomes. Do not become addicted to outcomes. One thing about me, I'm not addicted to the outcome. I personally don't care if you join the business or not, to be honest with you, because guess what? It's not my financial situation that you're going to improve. That's what y'all That's what y'all don't understand. The reason I make a lot of money is because I really get up with a spirit of benevolence. I get up and say, who can I help today understand that they don't have to struggle financially? I don't go, who can I get up and get a paycheck? The paychecks come because I have a spirit of, who can I help see that you don't have to rent, you can own? Who can I help see that those credit cards are killing you? Who can I help see that if you're not investing, you ain't going to make it? Who can I help see that these daily checks will help you get rid of the part-time job? Who can I help see that? And if they don't see it, my job ain't to make you see it. I did my job when I exposed it to you. So I'm very non-emotional when it comes to this business because I'm not addicted to the outcome. I'm not addicted to the outcome at all. I could care less if you ever adjust your W-4. That money don't go in my pocket. I could care less if you stay in the 500s for the rest of your life. Your, your interest rate don't affect my child. I could care less if you ever eliminate debt. Stay in debt 87 years. Stay in debt. And I don't mean to sound callous or, or pompous. I'm saying I don't have an emotional attachment to your finances. I just wish you as excited as I am. That's all. And if you're not, I got to go find me some excitement. You ain't sounding right. You, you just ain't sounding like you ready to do nothing in 2023. I got to vibrate with the team that's vibrating at a high frequency. You vibrating at a low frequency right now. That's how, that's how I am. Look, not sometimes. That's how I am all the time. That's how I am all the time. See, after a while, guys, it becomes a habit. See, I have a habit of vibrating high. I don't even like low frequency. People that hang around me a lot will tell you, like, when they start vibrating low, I'm gone. I'm like, ooh, this don't. I can't get caught up in that low frequency right now. I just can't. So I'm not saying you got to be excited and happy and every day is a good day. I'm saying after a while, you'll start vibrating so high that your, low, your worst moments are most people's best moments. You start vibrating so high where your, your wor worst moments are some people's best moments. Jay-Z said, may the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows. But some of y'all ain't even thinking that far yet. <laughs> Think about that for a minute. May the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows. But some of y'all aren't even thinking that far yet. I want you guys to understand this pitfall before you even fall into it. The emotional roller coaster is the number one thing that hurts you in this business. What's the emotional roller coaster? You excited. You just got in. You paid your one, your two forty nine. You you got a bunch of people that's gonna kill it, and then the first five people you talk to don't even respond to your phone call or a text message or a DM. Now you back down. Then somebody finally hits you back two weeks later and say, hey, man, I'm sorry, I, I forgot about you. You back, you back inside. You're like, man, I thought the world was against me. Then they see the video and they hate it. You back down. Then you come to train and you're like, oh, that's what I was doing wrong. I was sending a video, but I wasn't following up with no phone call or nothing. Now you're back excited because I, I heard from Brian, I can do this thing, man, I'm about to kill it. I ain't never seen nothing like it. I'm about to kill it. Then one of your friends, in fact, two of your friends say, I'm in. I get paid Friday. Then Friday come, and they don't call you. Man, you ain't gonna believe it. I was in a fender bender. And guess what? The, dedu the deductible was $149. So I gotta take care of that. But I ain't forgot about you. Now you back down. Then your friends say, I'm in. Send me the link. You got another friend that say, send me the link. I'm in. I'm ready to do this thing. You back up. Then they get down to hit payment and the credit card decline. They back down. You riding what's called the emotional roller coaster. You up, you down, you up, you down, you up, you down. Those of us that make a lot of money, we just ride the middle. You say you're going to get in? Cool. You get paid Friday? Cool. You're going to blow this thing up? All of Miami going to be under you? Cool. 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 
Cool. You like it? Cool. You signing up? Cool. You in? Cool. You getting trained? Cool. You coming to Game Changer? Cool. I don't go, they coming. I'm about to kill it. I get excited, but I just relax along the way until a person start doing something. Put this in your notes. How do you know a person is lying? Their lips move. In other words, I don't believe nothing you saying right now. How do you know a person is telling the truth? Their actions move. So as long as you're talking, I don't believe you. One of my guys that I personally sponsored that I got a lot of respect for, and he knows because he's, he's going through some stuff, but he's hanging in there with me. He's hanging in there with me. So people that go a little extra mile, I'll go extra mile with you. If you're hanging in there with me, get through your problems. We all go through problems. And he kept reminding me that he's never quitting. Hey, Mr. Bean, I'm just like, you know, I ain't never quitting. Hey, just wanted to text you, Mr. Bean. I'm still here because I ain't quitting. And finally, I texted him. I said, do me a favor. Stop reminding me that you're not quitting. Because everybody that say that quit. Everybody that tells me, I ain't quitting. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here for the long haul. I say, stop saying that. Because that means you're on the verge of quitting. Let me tell you how I know. Because those of us that ain't quitting, we don't have to say it. It, I, it ain't even in our thought. If you got to remind me every day, I ain't going nowhere. I'm still here. Just letting you know, we, I ain't, I'm, I'm in it to win it. You're going to quit in two weeks. I, I said, I'm trying to tell you, stop texting me that. People that are in it to win it, they just in it to win it. We ain't got to keep saying it because if you keep telling me you're not quitting, that means you're thinking about quitting. <laughs> if you keep telling me you're not quitting, it's on, your, it's on the forefront of your mind every day. So you're going to quit in two weeks. He's like, I got it. I got it. I said, relax, bro. Relax. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. It's a business. You've been in eight days. Okay. <laughs> You've been in eight days. You guys will be surprised, man. Some of y'all going to quit your own business. You're not even going to get a business a year to see the benefits of the business. Think about that for a second. Some of y'all are not even going to get a business a year to see the benefits of the business. Your tax savings alone going to make you some money. Just your tax savings. 